Hey you guys, it's Malak, and today I'm going to be opening Henry Ann's figure drawing techniques and tips. Uh, I got this book pretty recently, and it was mainly because I found his website after finding a lot of his drawings that I really loved uh, on Pinterest. I was looking at some figure drawings for inspiration, and I really liked what I saw in his work, so I thought I'd get his art book. I guess in retrospect, I'm kind of seeing that uh, that might be kind of almost like a, a textbook in some ways, because of the techniques and tips part. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I would honestly prefer just to have a book of his work, but Maybe he has them kind of combined into both. Already I can say that I'm very disappointed in the fact that this is a soft cover book. It makes me really sad. I wish it was hardcover. It's kind of glossy. At least it's not like an ultra gloss, but it's still a little bit glossy for my taste. That's weird. It acts like a jacket, even though it's soft cover. <laughs> I'm not a big fan at all of how this book is made so far, but let's see. Dedicated the book to his parents. Uh, Henry Yan, uh, or yeah, Henry Yan works and has worked at the Academy of Art University in San Francisco for a long time. Drawing less than 20 minutes. Part one and part two. Part one, okay. So some nice work, seeing what he does in under 20 minutes. Some stuff in charcoal. Line, kind of talks about how he feels about line. Talking about, huh, okay, so yeah, here's some actual tips. <laughs> That's good. About dynamic directionality and stuff like that. Measuring and creating the contour and some shading it looks like. Yeah, they're just really beautiful, but I'd rather just have, you know, the pictures of the artwork and have a legitimate art book with images of uh, his drawings and maybe paintings if he does that, just that instead of the uh, instructions talking about how light is manifested on a, on a figure. I love this kind of smoky uh, Look he does with the charcoal, it's nice, letting the, qual uh, the quality of the charcoal show through. And the composition of that, the way the leg just goes into it, and how the background is incorporated, it's really beautiful, but... And these pages don't really feel like they're that good quality. It's such a shame because... You know, pages like this, I love this. I love looking at this guy's art. I feel like he is extremely talented. On toned, mid-tone paper, bringing out the highlights and the shadows. I love, I love when artists do that. Direct drawing. Without underdrawing or guidelines, kind of. Like what Kim Jung-gi is famous for. Wow, look at that. Without any construction, Four lines. He did that. These are just beautiful. <sighs> wow. <laughs> I'm getting kind of frustrated because I really love his creations. I'm really loving his artwork. I mean, the tips and tricks are going to be really interesting, but now that we have the internet, you can always look at a lecture, or if someone has a Udemy course or something like that, you can go to that. So I feel like those ways to learn are 
a little bit easier than trying to understand what he's saying from the book. You can actually see it in vivo as he's doing it. So these, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them. I'll probably brush over them, but mainly I'm here for the artwork because I can look up some lectures or some demonstrations he's done if I really want to, which I might because I am enjoying seeing all his work. Wow, look at that. Kind of gesture and the texture in there. It's just really pretty. There's a prominent nose. And here there's a completely different texture he's got. In terms of drawing, he, he can embrace some slightly different styles. It's really nice. I just wish the book was hardcover, maybe even a little bit smaller if necessary. Oh wow, I'm just so sad that this is kind of a flimsy book with kind of an ugly cover and I'm not a big fan of what the whatever the pages are made out of. I don't feel like they fold over very well. It's not like the pages are too thin or anything. It's just I feel like I can see them wrinkling or creating like dimples really easy with whatever they're made out of. It feels almost like they've got some sort of an odd coating. Again, where they bring out those highlights and the shadows, I just love that. A mid-tone paper. So I guess I'll tell you how I found this book. Uh, there's a section on the website where you can order the book. And that's part of why I'm sort of frustrated at all of this. Is because I paid, I think it was $40, $45 for this book. Maybe it was $50, $55 with shipping. And the book is just, in my opinion, not really worth it the way it stands now. I feel like this book is not going to last. I don't like the design of the book. I mean, this is kind of nice, but for the price, there's no buffer page. There's no buffer page on the back. It goes right from a content page to the cover. And the cover is essentially just a, a cover weight of the inside pages, maybe, with sort of weird gloss co coating. I don't like the book, the physical book itself at all, but I am in love with the art. I really hope Henry Ann creates a real art book with just a collection of his art in it to show the art. No tips, no techniques or tricks, no drills that you can do. I just want his art, and I want it to be a well-designed, beautiful book that honors the well-made, beautiful art inside. I feel like I can't recommend this book if you want an art book to have Henry Ann's drawings and own them in some form and have them on your coffee table. If you need his techniques and tips, I guess you can get this, but like I said before, you can always look up demonstrations or eventually attend an actual lecture demonstration if it's at all possible for you, and I feel like that would be a much better experience if that's what you're interested in. So, sadly, this is a book that I'm not really happy about, but I'm going to keep following this artist because I love what they do, and I really hope that one day they create an art book that will just blow me away because I know that they could with the art that they actually make. Uh, sorry about that, um, but that's how I feel. Uh, thank you for watching the video, whoever's here. Remember to like and subscribe. It helps me keep going and opening up these wonderful and sometimes less impressive books and showing what they're really like once they're opened. Uh, I hope to see you guys again. We're gonna burn it down. Burn, burn it down. We're gonna burn it down.